So let's start on stretched hair. This is an old twist out. I'm just gonna spray my hair with water and work that through just to moisturize it and so it's a bit more pliable. Next, I'm gonna add Shea Moisture's restorative conditioner just to further moisturize my hair. Always make sure you moisturize your hair when you're restyling. I'm just taking my wide tooth comb and making sure there's no partings or not much definition left and encouraging my hair to go upwards. I'm gonna take some shea butter to seal all that moisture in. Again, smoothing my hair up so it knows it's a high puff today. I'm just taking my ball bristle brush to smooth my edges down, but I'm not slicking them in any way, just to neaten them up a little bit. To secure my hair, I'm going to use this extra large hairband by Goody. I like it because it's got this kind of rubber going through it and that helps it be non-slip. So I'm just going to put that on, pushing my hair upwards. And as you can see, it's really nice and large. So I'm able to twist it and then bring my hair through that. Now that's done, I'm just going to push that up into the size puff that I want. So if I want a wider puff, then I would have it lower. I'm gonna fluff out the top and honey, that is literally it, so quick. You can even pull it more forward into a pineapple puff like I've done in my Insta pick. So now on another day when I was wearing my high puff, I took them out and decided I want some bangs. So I'm going to create a kind of trapeze shape using my fingers pointing upwards from my temples. And just push the rest of the hair out of the way. Now with that front section, I'm going to spray it liberally with water. I want this nice and damp because I'm gonna utilize my shrinkage. I'm gonna split the section into two, clipping that front bit out of the way. Now with the back section, I'm going to split it into three. And I was really surprised at how easy this happened, I think because of my previous twists. to two strand twist the other sections whilst I put that out of the way. So on this section I'm going to add some more shea butter as our styling cream. And I'm going to two strand twist this little section. I'm going to twist it up onto itself into a bantu knot. And I'm going to do this for that whole front section. The very front bit I split into four sections because it's a bit bigger. So I'm smoothing on some shea butter, two strand twisting. And then putting it into a bantu knot. And now I can work on the back section once it's done. So I'm going to again spray especially the sides and back of my hair and smooth that upwards. Just using my ball bristle brush just to keep the sides neat. Gathering all my hair, I'm going to push it as far forward as I can into a kind of ninja puff. This is gonna help camouflage that kind of middle parting there that I've got in the crown, but also just because I prefer it up that high. Look at my little antennas, little bantu knots. 
So after a while, maybe the length of a YouTube video, I started to take my hair down, unraveling all of the Bantu knots. I did this because I didn't want it to fully dry. I, again, I wanted to really utilize that shrinkage, but still get a bit of definition. So I'm just unraveling all of the Bantu knots. And then I'm going to work through section by section, undoing the little twists. I'm doing this gently so you can keep that coil. And I'm sorry this bit is out of frame, but I was basically holding the twists down over my forehead as I undid them. That way it really helps create that fringe by pulling that down. I don't pull on the top section just because I want that volume for the fringe. So you can see what a lovely full fringe that's created. I just tug on sections just to place it where I want it to fall. But yeah, I love puff hairstyles because they're just so quick and easy to do. I think they're super cute and they're protective. If you wanted for the faux fringe, you can keep the twists in because that makes it more protective because your ends are completely away. So I hope you guys like this look. Let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. I love puff hairstyles. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,